Hello everyone, that's tuning in to today's second video doing the ECMWF 30 day slash 42 extended forecast for today's uh, second video. So as well on Tuesday, we've got, we've got your 30 day or six weeks uh, look ahead. And I should get on with that for you in a moment, just to say that the first video of today was our 6am UK weather forecast. I've got a 10 to 14 day with all our break features coming up for you later on this afternoon so if you could please like share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content and thank you so much everybody for doing that thank you so much to ecfwf.int for supplying the charts as well thank you so much ec all right we're gonna start off with the uh, week one Mean cell pressure anomaly taking us from the 18th to 25th of September so the week that we're currently in with deep low pressure in the Atlantic running into much of northern and western Europe. We have got a ridge over on the eastern side of Europe, extending back into western Russia. Um, these charts look like they dig down into the Med. And then we've got some ridging in towards Spain and back to the Azores. 500 millibar heights, Donnie, for week one looks like that. Again, deep below average heights, low pressure in the North Atlantic and into the northwest Europe. Higher pressure on the east side of Europe and down into southern parts of Europe as well. Jet stream coming through something uh, a little bit like that. So here's the temperature anomaly for the uh, weekend. It's a bit cooler than average to Spain and Portugal and just to the north and the west of the UK and Ireland. Slightly above average to uh, France and into the UK, a um, little bit more above average for northern France, below countries and Germany, up towards um, Norway as well. And then east of that, it gets very warm. So when we get into central and eastern parts, you have anywhere from Germany eastwards, really, all the way to Black Sea. And then we're seeing those temperature anomalies of three to six degrees above average, very, very significantly and substantially warmer than average over on the east side of Europe. That is where the heat has been shunted off to as the Atlantic flow has increased. Also wetter than average in the north and in the west of Europe as well. So once more we see Ireland, France, uh, UK into the low countries up to Scandinavia including Denmark uh, and Sweden as well as Norway and also over the Baltic Sea towards Finland and into the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia and Lithuania all coming out with above average rainfall. Now, <coughs> excuse me, some areas are drier than normal, especially in the far eastern side of Europe. So again, from like um, Greece and southern parts of Italy up towards the Black Sea. And then extending normals into the west of Russia. That's where we see those uh, drier than average conditions occurring. A little bit drier than average through parts of, uh, of uh, central and um, western Spain and also into some Portugal, but northern Spain, actually wetter than average, and eastern Spain, wetter than average too, extending into Mediterranean Sea to the Balearic Islands. So a lot of regional variation going on for precipitation this week, but generally it's driest in the south and the east and wettest in the north and west, but there is variation to that. Uh, week two will be the 25th of September, 2nd of October. Big changes this week as a ridge of high pressure, an area of high pressure really, builds across many central parts of Europe that sends the low pressure and the jet stream away to the north and the west and uh, generally that's going to start pulling up warmer I think up the western side of Europe with that uh, ridge of high pressure there. 500 millibar heights um, like this so again we see above average heights dominating once more as so often through this September across many parts of Europe the low pressure being pushed out into the Atlantic once again. And I've got some low pressure right to the far north of uh, Scandinavia as well. <coughs> got a little bit of tickle tonight. The temperature anomaly uh, looks like that. Above average in all areas from the far west to the far east of Europe and all points in between. We see um, northern parts of Spain and Portugal into France and into Northern Germany again coming out three six degrees above average. Uh, widely across Europe, we're one to three degrees above normal. So a very warm week to come uh, next week with significantly above average temperatures. Exceptions possibly the extreme north of Scandinavia. You're talking about going back into the Arctic Circle, really there, and maybe eastern parts of uh, Spain. Interestingly, uh, look nearer to average, and maybe one or two of the Greek islands. But overall. 
a very uh, warm week is signal there uh, next week once again. And much drier as well, away from the extreme northwest. So the rain is being pushed off to Norway, to the far north and west of Scotland, possibly to Western Ireland. But otherwise, ten drier and average. And looking particularly dry over the continent, so through France, into Germany, uh, Italy, and down to the Balkans as well. We see significantly driving average uh, conditions being predicted there. But many areas right from west all the way to the east coming out drier than normal. Week 3 will be the 2nd to the 9th of October. No real changes in this week. We still have the low pressure in the Atlantic the way to our north and west. We still have, we still have high pressure sitting to our south across much of the continent. And again, the jet stream is going to be up here somewhere. 500 millibar heights looking like that. So once more, we have above average heights dominating across many parts of Europe. Below average heights, low pressure pushed away to the extreme north and west once again. Should be another pretty warm week. Temperature on again coming out above average pretty much to all areas. Again, we do have exception for the far north of Scandinavia up here and also parts of North Africa look a little bit cooler but they are the exceptions to the rule once more right way from the west all the way to the east so from Ireland and Portugal in the far west right way over to the Black Sea and uh, the Russian border in the east we find that we have temperatures around one to three degrees above average widely across most parts of Europe and the week three precipitation anomaly no real changes it continues to look a little bit wetter than average to the far north and west, drier than average across the southern, southwestern parts of Europe in particular, but also for some eastern parts of Europe and possibly in towards France, the low countries and the UK as well. The pretty dry week to come there. Week four will be the night to the 16th of October. Signs of a change this week. So the higher pressure slipping over towards the far east side of Europe, the lower pressure is uh, through France, Spain and Portugal and beginning to appear to uh, between Iceland and Scandinavia as well. We we'll possibly see the ridge beginning to break down a little bit there. The 500 millibar height shows that being, um, the ridge is moving more towards the eastern side of Europe and pulling out into the Atlantic. Possibly there could be a trough starting to get going through here. That is a little bit speculative. Temperature anomaly it may be turning slightly cooler in the far northwest. So for Ireland and the UK, maybe to northwestern parts of France, Temperatures lowering a little bit, but otherwise, most areas are coming out above average again, particularly so, I think, for the central and eastern parts of Europe, because that is where the ridge is shifting over to. And the precipitation just looks a little bit more unsettled from the far north and west of Europe, really. So, Scandinavia um, down towards the low countries, possibly to the UK and Ireland, and to northwestern France and uh, northern Spain. Possibly just looks that a little bit more unsettled. Maybe some lower pressure coming through there. But it is a weak signal, of course, because it's four weeks away. Diversity over on the eastern side of Europe. That's where the drier weather is, uh, is moving to with that area of high pressure. Right, that's the 30-day look ahead done. But let's go through weeks five and six data before we go. So week five is the 16th to the 23rd of October. So again, signs have a bit of a change here. Lower pressure is certainly in the west and southwest of um, Europe there. We mean sea level pressure anomaly. 500 millibar heights, again, showing the uh, ridge of above average heights over on the east side of Europe and some out, out in the Atlantic. Possibly some lower pressure through here. The temperature anomaly is largely above average in most parts of Europe. And the precipitation anomaly... Very weak signal, but does hint that it might be going a little bit more unsettled there in many areas. And then week 6 will be the 23rd to the 30th of October. If it's going to refresh, which it may not be going to. <laughs> Thank you, EC. Right at the death. We're uh, struggling here. OK, well, let's try the 500 millibar height, see if that will do anything for us. Um, no, signs of a little bit of northern blocking appearing around Greenland there. Some higher pressure over on the eastern side of Europe as well. Could there be some low pressure forming underneath these two uh, ridges? Let's just go back here, see if this will update. 
Yeah, there it is. That's a week six mean cell pressure anomaly as well. Now, pressure generally through southern parts of Europe. Wink signal. And as far as temperature anomalies are concerned, it's above average in most areas. And lastly, precipitation anomalies. Weak signal, but could be a little bit on the wet side through some central and northern regions as well as through the central part of the bed. OK, that's it then for your phone day. Look for this week. That was just a snapshot of what the model is showing today. Could look a bit different when we look at this again uh, next week for the uh, European Outlook. And on Friday, we'll have a look for the UK and Ireland focus uh, with this model as well. If you have enjoyed this video, please can you like, share and subscribe. And we'll be back with more very, very soon. For this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks so much.